started jiu-jitsu when I was nine years old and I just at first I actually didn't I didn't really like it when I first started um, I was kind of getting bullied by the kids in the gym they were a lot older and bigger than me uh, my, my best friends out here were going surfing when I was going to the gym and I was just kind of I was kind of unsure I didn't really fall in love with it right away but um, I gave it some time kept showing up kept practicing and then over time I realized that um, it was like something that I could really fall in love with and it was something that I became like slightly obsessed with. I just wanted to keep getting better and better and learning more and getting stronger. Now get over here Eli, put your black belt. I was about to receive my black belt which has been one of my biggest goals my entire life. definitely known as a troublemaker. Um, I was getting into a lot of street fights. Um, I was hanging out with some rowdy kids. Um, and I just happened to be at the wrong place at the right time too many, too many times. And um, so I started getting a bad reputation and I was getting blamed for stuff. receives a belt, the black belts in the class either toss you or give you a good choke. And to be honest, I don't know the exact history of how it started, but it's something that's been passed down from the beginnings, from our roots. And um, yeah, I've gone through that tradition from blue belt to purple to brown and now black, and I'm sure I'll pass it down. Kai Garcia has been one of my coaches and instructors and guys that have helped me for so many years in the gym. JD, thank you so much for the last 14 or 15 years of guidance and knowledge and always looking after me, keeping me in check. Um, there's honestly no words that I can really say that can really describe how grateful I truly am. Thank you for everything, I love you. Yeah, I was just kind of like constantly getting in trouble and then I luckily had Jiu Jitsu because it really gave me a chance to realize like, okay, I can go down two different paths. So right then and there, I made up my mind. I was like, I'm gonna really just try and change my life for the better. And Jiu-Jitsu really helped me keep my life on track and it changed the course of my life during my teen years. And I am forever grateful for that. And um, yeah, I, I'll just, I'll never forget that. So stoked, long time coming for sure. Who's We've that? been training for, for a long time and I know that was one of his major goals in life and I'm really stoked that he accomplished it and I knew he would. Because uh, the love's there, the passion, and everything else you need, uh, all for the right reasons, you know? So I'm really stoked for him. Phew. Ever since he was this big, he was always like, just as long as I get it before I'm 30, that's like my goal. That's when he was like 15 or something, so. Before you're 30, before I'm 30, 27. <laughs> Ezra, you've been my big brother my entire life. Always had my back, always looked after me, and allowed me to train at your gym, even when I was at my worst. So, another big brother of mine, forever grateful. Love you.
with my black belt tonight. Um, I'm lost for words right now. To award somebody a belt that's been doing for 18 years and then a person that I've known is, I competed against his father in surfing. Like his dad's a friend of mine from that far back and that's how his dad brought him to Jiu Jitsu and threw him with Kai and I and said, train my kid. And he would yell obscenities at me and Kai and around the door <laughs> and run to the beach. Okay, But in the end, it's like he said, it saved his life. And he, I, as a kid, you don't, maybe even my own son and other kids, they maybe don't appreciate it as much until you hit maybe 15, 16, and then you start to see, this is gonna save my life in a fight. And you get bullied in school like, oh, this is actually, this is gnarly. So, anyways, thanks to all the Black Belt for showing up. <laughs> Let's have a nice bow of respect on three. One, two, three. Battleground Masters. Right. Still have no words for you guys. <laughs> Tripping. Oh, what a part. Actually, the blue kind of got and was just running, but he was just like. No. I don't want, I'm gonna yeah. run as fast as I could if I do. And yeah, me too. And you think I'm Eli's brother? Yeah, you kind of look like him. <laughs> you look like Eli. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, don't. You don't. No. <laughs> He's the wrong kid. He's the wrong kid. <laughs> <laughs> How come I can't figure this out? Oh, you want to know the real story about the black belt? I, I mean, I first got Eli into jiu-jitsu when um, he got in trouble, so I just... He got accused of throwing a rock at a bus, but he didn't really do it, and that, that changed his whole life. I, I just grabbed him, I said, martial arts is the way to go with a kid that's a little out of line. Uh, went to Gracie Jiu-Jitsu on Queen Street with Helson Gracie and um, started him there uh, on the weekends. I'd bring him in on the weekends, and then from there, uh, there was a rec center right over here by the bathroom at three tables and I went over there and there was adult class only and I went in and I said, hey, will you take a, a Eli, this Grom? And um, Marcelo was the teacher at that time and uh, they decided, ah, okay, we'll let give Eli a chance. And um, after the first two weeks, Marcelo said, he's a really good student and he learns like you teach him a move he'll learn it that day and so they they kind of just sponsored Eli from that time on they really liked the way Eli dedicated himself to jiu-jitsu and and that's how he started and then from there 
uh, JD took over and JD's had him for the last I would say at least 15 years JD's had a hold of Eli and, and uh, basically made Eli into the the gentleman that he is. Do you know why Eli has a three stripe thing on his arm? Three, three stripe tattoo. <coughs> three sons. One, two, three. Nikolai, Eli, Leo. Just really want to say thank you so much to my family, um, my mom, my dad, my brothers, Rico, um, all of my family and friends who've supported me, even at my worst. You know, you guys have always believed in me, and um, it takes more than just a family to raise someone. You know, it's like the entire the entire community kind of helped raise me. So thank you to everybody, the ones who believed in me and even the ones who didn't.